to internet refer to us as lizard men. But the wise on the internet know us as the protectors of all. Since antiquity have been stood guard, watching over the realms and a world long since forgotten by all but the slam and the gods that abandoned it. And so shall we continue, following the great mass until the old ones return and we've ridden all the realms of the taint of chaos most foul. The Grand Marshal of the Apocalypse, the Three-Eyed King, the Ever-Chosen. I am known by many names, and I bring wrath, ruin, and fear. To the battlefield, to those around me, to the Eight Realms themselves, I bring fear to all. None are safe, none may match my glory. I am Chaos Reborn, Immortal. I am Archaon, and all will tremble at the sound of my voice. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to another Bow Report for Sag of Dice. We got Eric back again. Huzzah. Hey, hey. And I'm actually participating today. I'm not just a, it's a, very exciting. a creepy weirdo with a camera. Yeah, things. you're not just filming our games. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Weirdly. Um, so I brought Le Lizard. Yeah, the big Dread Saurian. I brought the Dread Saurian, so he's back. But I brought Archeon, so yes. it's on. So it's so, is what we're saying. Yeah, so I've made a mistake, a terrible, terrible mistake. Um, but it should be fun. I forget the name of the battle plan. Uh, Realmstone Cash. Realmstone Cash, yeah. Which I, I heard ticking earlier, so I think it might explode <laughs> yeah. somewhere around turn three. That's my guess. That's exactly right. Yeah, we got. We'll see. It depends on which wire we cut, and then. It's true. Yeah, but um, so we've got we've released a, a Patreon, uh, Patreon exclusive videos. We've got the uh, the first Path to Glory battle report. It's out there. It's absolutely hilarious. Some of the most crazy rolling I've ever seen. Uh, 600 points of gits versus ogres. If you want to see it, uh, you can join the Patreon at any level. It's all on there. And uh, there's also going to be another exclusive one. It's going to be Sylvaneth versus uh, Slanesh. Nice. So that will be coming that'll out. That'll be good. Yeah, around the same time that this one is. Awesome. Yeah, so, we never get to see Slanesh. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's got Sigvald. It's got it's got awesome. everything. So yeah. love it. Uh, but before we go over to the table, we'll, we'll explain and we'll explain the. Um, the scenario, if people wouldn't mind subscribing for the YouTube gods, commenting, commenting for the algorithm throne, and hitting the screaming bell. Apparently, it doesn't do anything anymore. But like, I just like saying, you know, ring the screaming bell. If yeah. You get a free vermin lord. Smack that like button. Smack the like button. Apparently, that still does something, and I know commenting does. So there you go. Uh, we really appreciate. Tell us about all the rules we got wrong. I'm playing a new book. Be kind. And I'm, I'm playing uh... <laughs> a, an army that I never play, and I always lose with. So this will be Perfect. great. <laughs> awesome. We'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, today we are playing Realmstone Cash, um, and it's pretty simple. So we start off with one objective in the middle, and then at the top of turn three, at the very beginning, it explodes. And depending on what we roll, it can go like horizontal this way or this way. And then other than that, it's all the normal stuff. One, two more, and two for your battle tactic. Um, so it's a pretty simple one, fun one, and yep. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back with the lists. All right, so uh, here we are with the uh, Slaves to Darkness army list. Um, so we're hosted the Ever Chosen since we're running the man himself. Yeah. So uh, host of the Ever Chosen gives us an extra banner and it gives us a rally on a five up, which is pretty exciting. Wow. Uh, army wide. Ooh. Uh, not, actually not, not on the Splintered Fang, just on the Warriors and the Knights. Um, so good on both, though. Yeah. So then we have Archeon. Yep. Um, the cool thing about Archeon is he gets to pick his mark after we've deployed. Whoa. Which is pretty cool. So That's he's really not cool. he's not determined what his mark will be yet. Okay. Um, then we have 20 Chaos Warriors. Um, they are marked Nurgle, so they'll be minus one to wound. Cool. And then they have the Eroding Icon for their banner. Yeah. And that uh, has been FAQ'd to now be Worsen the Rend of Melee Attacks that Target This Unit. Okay. Used to be a bubble in the book. It's the book that is not out yet. Yeah. Says that they're, uh, <laughs> yeah. The book that's been FAQ'd before it's been released <laughs> is... Uh, but we appreciate that. It's true. It is good. So you're not um, buying the wrong things. But there's no bubble anymore. Okay. So it's just... Uh, 
reduce rent by one when, when targeting this unit. Okay. Uh, moving along with battle line, we have 10 splintered fang, a mm -hmm. little bit of chaff action there. Um, I would like to point out the uh, albino boa constrictor named, yes. Re named Revelations. Revelations, for those that are fans of the WWF. Yeah, Jake yeah. the Snake in particular. Yes, that's, exactly. that's Jake, by the way. That's the Jake. Handler. He's the handler. He is Jake, yeah. And then uh, we have our general here, cool. this Chaos Sorcerer Lord. Yep. Um, and he's kind of lame, so he's, uh, <laughs> oh. so he's got Master of Magic and Arcane Tome, because okay. we're not fun. Oh, and, uh So he's got an extra cast, and he can reroll casts. You, you've only got one of each. In this army, yeah. So I mean, we have a brand. Can't. We have a brand new book filled with hundreds of artifacts, and I have picked the two <laughs> things that are not in the book. So that's his story. And then <laughs> filling out the last of our battle line is ten Chaos Knights. Oh, they're one unit, and they will be marked Slanesh. Okay. Um, so that gives them plus one to run and charge, and then access to a command ability to run and charge. Oh, cool. So they're pretty quick. Um, I should also mention that the sorcerer is also marked Slanesh. Okay. Cool. Um, and then the splintered fang are undivided. Undivided. Because that's their that's what they come as. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, you can take them in Legion of the First Prince and change their mark. Oh. But uh, I'm not doing that. So that makes sense to me. Uh, so two thousand points. I think it's nineteen eighty actually. Okay. So nineteen eighty points of Slave Starkers. We're all also all in one uh, battle regiment, so we'll be one drop. Nice. Um, you'll be choosing. You'll be the chooser. I will be the decider. Okay. Um, so that's it for Slaves to Darkness, and we'll be right back with the Seraphon list. Okay, we're back with the Seraphon list. Uh, Boo! So <laughs> you play Seraphon! Wait, how many points were you? Uh, 1980. I'm 1985! Aha! Plus one to wound is my triumph. If only my Dread Saurian was 100 points less. <laughs> <laughs> then he would still not be a very good it's choice. He'd still not yeah. be the best choice, but I'd still bring him. As I do now. Anyway, so we've got 1985 points of Seraphon. I'm like a million drops to your one, so I will not be the chooser of the path or the ways. Um, but I did, uh, so I do have a Warlord Battalion, so the Seraph, uh, the Slan is in there. Um, I brought the spell that makes things fly. You're probably seeing it on your screen right now. Um, and that's all. Oh, no, and he has the Fusil of Conflagration because I have to take it in this army. And I might as well put it where I'm not going to get any use out of it because I won't remember it anyway. Um, and then I've got this little guy down here. I gave him Curse because he's a priest and yep. I can do that. And, yeah, he has, I think that's all he has. And then I've got the main event, the, my uh, general, who has Prime War Beast, uh, the only mount trait available, Beastmaster, I want to call it, and then the Cloak of Feathers, which is, you know, I don't know, it's just like one of the best artifacts in the game, 14-inch uh, flying <laughs> Triceratops with minus one to hit is, is really cool, yep. um, and then I've got my battle line is uh, a Stegodon, uh, the engine of the gods broke down on there. So it's just it's just a regular stegodon, but it looks like um, it looks like a mansion of the gods. And then we got ten skinks, and we've got ten skinks. I couldn't fit in. <laughs> I was telling Eric I couldn't fit in the temple guard, so my slan is going to have his uh, cloaca out this whole battle, and <laughs> he might just get <laughs> taken right out. But uh, I also have a bastilladon for the this guy to buff, and I've got the main. You know, the piece de resistance is the Dread Saurian. He's not on the right base size. You know, I've talked about it before, but my dad made it, so I'm not changing it, and I love it. So, yeah, I really, really love this guy. Um, I haven't named him yet, have I? Wreck-It Ralph? I don't know. We'll come up with it later. And then Eric was kind enough to lend me his uh, Ravenix Gnashing Jaws, because mine is painted but not based. So, yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, 1985 points of Lizards. Uh, we'll be back with whoever's going first after this. Okay, we're here with the Seraphon, turn one. Uh, Eric has kindly given me the first turn. Yes, very uh, kindly. Very kindly, yeah, we all agree. So, uh, my battle tactic is going to be the against the odds. <laughs> You don't say. <laughs> yeah. And before I forget, I'm making it the plus one to cast thing from uh, my Celestial right. Constellation. Right, Constellation, yeah. Yeah, the Sage's Staff, I think it's called. I believe it is, yeah. Um, so there's that. And then my heroic action, I didn't think... Oh, actually, no, I'll roll a, a CP for this guy because I want to spend one right away anyway. Yeah. Um, and he gets it on a five. Okay. So he is going to then immediately use it. I'm not going to just... I'm just not going to take it. Yeah. He's going to give the plus one to hit on this guy. 
Yep. So, and then what's your heroic action? I think I'm going to take an unbind on Archeon. Oh, so cool. So then he can unbind three. Unbind. So then he can have a, have a roll at I each of your slots. I think you have slot. to pick that on a non-caster, don't you? Oh, do you? I think so. Oh, okay. Then I won't do that because both my should both we look it up real quick and be maybe right we back? should sure. All right. So after consulting the rules, uh, turns out I was trying to cheat. <laughs> so uh, you cannot uh, pick a non or you not, cannot pick a wizard to get the extra unbind. You have to pick a non wizard. And I don't have one, so oh. we're gonna try to roll for an extra CP on Archeon. And we don't get it. That's okay. a one. That's, yeah. that's a good start to the game. First roll. <laughs> great, one. great start. Everyone agrees. So before I forget another rule, um, my slang gets to roll two dice, and on a four up, he gets extra CPs. Not he does, but um, no, yeah. no matter. No dice. Two and a three. No dice. Okay. So uh, I did that. He's going to try and roll, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, bless. The six up. Uh, feel no pain. Yeah. Right. And because I'm this terrain is in my deployment, he's plus one. Yep. Because from, of their. Because uh, it mystic, mystical. Yeah. Uh, so that'll do it. Yep. Six. And so, I have no way to stop the prayer. So these guys are blessed. I'm I'm going to put down just this little marker because I was not smart enough to get it ready ahead of time. Uh, now we're going to go. Oh, and then uh, I forgot to shoot laser beams from this guy. Yep. So I'm picking this one because it's within 18 inches, yep. and it's going to hit all three of those guys, I believe. Yeah, the Knights, the Warriors, and Archeon? Yeah. That looks right to me. So uh, it's three up, right? Or is it two up? I or think if it's, farther, if it's farther than... If it's within 18, it's a two up, right? Because it's a four up. And there's and a four up if it's within 36, but more than 18? Yeah, if it's, yeah, if it's more than 18, but... Inside of 36, it's a four up, and then I think if it's outside of 36, it's a six up. Right. Okay, so so two up on the knights. Yeah. For uh, two mortal wounds on them. Okay, they're gonna get a save. They are. Do, do, do. Grab some dice. And five up. Nope, one of the two. These dice are going in the bad pile. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get up those Malai importance dice. Up. Yeah, I might have to. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll go with the Chaos Warriors next. Kay. Two up. Ooh, that was a close one. Uh, one. Okay, and five up ignore. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. And now Archibald. Okay. The squeakiest voice on the field. Uh, no. Aha! <laughs> the Ever Chosen has uh, <laughs> brought his will to bear. Yeah. He, uh, put some, uh, Markers here. His squeaky voice guys. really surprised uh, the slan. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Caught him off he's guard a little bit. He's used to skinks, bit. but he's not used to anything that high. It's true. Yeah. So right, um, the wounds have been distributed. They have. Okay. So now, I guess I'll go with um, I'll go with Comet's call. Okay. So I'm plus two to this, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, you also play this army. I don't think that'll do it. Seven. Yeah, that should do it. Comet's call. I think it's a seven, isn't it? Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we determined it is in fact a seven, so it does go off. So I will try to unbind with Archeon. Archeon. And that's an eight. <laughs> no comets call for you, my friend. Nope. The ever chosen. To the surprise of virtually no one, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a Mystic Shield on my Stegatron. Okay. Or attempt to. Oh, uh, it goes off barely. Goes off, yeah. I will try with Archeon again. So I got a six. That's a five. Okay. So Mystic Shield is in place. And then last but actually probably least, because now that we know about Archeon's ability with uh, gnashing jaws. True. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Cool. Just want to check if my wizard was uh, in range to have a throw at this, but he's not. Okay. So carry on. Cool. So I'm gonna I'm still gonna throw gnashing jaws out there just so at least it yeah. it causes you costs you a monstrous action theoretically. Um, so that will go off with a nine. Okay, I don't have an unbind in range. Cool. So I will put that down and then I will move it and then I guess we'll come back. Great. Cool. So we've got the endless spell down. Ravi. How dare you? Ra Ravibald. I don't know why. My own spell coming to eat me. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so now roll 3d6 and then it moves that far and then after we'll go into the movement phase. So. That's a oh, good roll. Oh, baby. That's yeah. a 13. 13. I'll take it. Um, so, yeah, we'll be back at the end of the movement phase. Okay. So, we're, we finished the movement phase. Um, 
We didn't quite make it on the Jaws. No, we, yeah, it was so close. I rolled a 13, as you guys know, and then I ended up like just outside of an inch, and then Archeon's just gonna dispel that, and it's gonna be for nothing, but it looked cool, and it was a really hype moment, so. It's true. Um, so, I'm going to go into the shooting phase. Oh, and I rolled a six for their run and a five for their run. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Uh, it was good. And then, yeah, so then we are, wait, why didn't I run him? I don't know. <laughs> Would you like to run him? Yeah, sure. <laughs> three. <laughs> All right, three more inches. Just to swing his giant booty out. out. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'll just move him like, I'll move him like two up and then I'll just kind of move his booty over. So up there, and then like one inch. Boop. Sausage gets made. Beautiful. Got cool. It. Okay, so now we're doing um, Stegatron numero uh. So he gets an extra shot because he's got the Prime War Beast command trait. Um, he's shooting these Chaos Warriors. He's shooting the Chaos Warriors, yeah. Uh, so he, They will all out defense. All out defense, cool. For a so they're gonna be, CP. they're gonna be Saving, they have a three up save right now? Correct. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna let that rock. Oh, I think actually I just realized I forgot to mention the banners that everybody has. Okay. Oh, right. The uh, Chaos Warriors have a banner for minus one, or worse than Ren by one in melee, and the Knights have the banner for plus one attack on the charge. That's not sure good. if I mentioned that or not, but if I didn't, there it is. Now, now we know. We know half the battle, G.I. Joe. Uh, so we got four. Oh, and these guys are barely on the objective. It's hard to see now. You know, yeah. But yeah, they're barely on there. So, so this is the Prime War Beast shooting the Chaos Warriors. Chaos Warriors hitting on threes and wounding on threes. Yes. Uh, oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, Darkness. Yeah. I remember you. So now we got this guy shooting into them as well. It's he true. only gets three shots because he does not have the Prime War We're all beast. slaves to the Darkness. They are, yeah. <laughs> So we got two hits now. Okay. And then wounding also on threes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a guy standing there with two yeah. giant like bolts sticking out of him. Yeah. He's like, what? What? <laughs> Did you guys see something? Yeah. <laughs> I felt the tickle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like two massive spears sticking out of yeah. the guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. Um, they're gonna be uh, what's his name? Dorgar? Oh yeah, Dorgar, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to call him like Hold, like, what's his name? Holdor? Oh, Hodor? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hodor, yeah, that's it. Uh, so this guy's gonna, we'll, we'll try a laser beam, okay? Try a laser beam. Do I get anything against chaos, or is it demons or something? I believe it's demons. I think it's just demons. I think it's demons, right? Okay, we can look it up in between because this is my last shot. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, uh, he's already plus one to hit because of the ability from the priest. Yes. So I can't make him anymore. So he's hitting on threes. Because he's normally hitting on fours. Yeah, that's a pretty good roll. That was a good roll. <laughs> the hitting is not where I struggle, Yeah, that's though. true. It's the wounding. <laughs> okay, so we're wounding on threes, though. So, yay. Yeah, that's not too bad. You have to actually roll a save roll. This is amazing. Yeah. So we got five at five minus dice. one. Minus one, so I'm plus one for all at defense. So we're going back to a right. three-up save. Right. We're going to roll it in the tray. Cool. Three-up save. Take, okay. Take one. So that's just two damage. Two damage. Yeah. So that's going to be a Chaos Warrior down. <laughs> eh. And, and then we're going to take that wound and move it up a little bit. Cool. Okay. And that's Ugh. that's my turn. So I have, I, I score this. Yep. And I have more. Yes. For the... Uh, two you, points. How you say <laughs> two points. Yeah. <laughs> and then it, I'll get my battle tactic as well. Yep. Against well, the odds. Against the odds. Yeah. Which is hilariously named because it's, it's the easiest one. It's the and easiest one. there are no odds to be book. against yeah. whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> uh, so that's my turn. So it'll be four points uh, ending the Seraphon turn. Oh, wait. I, I forgot in the charge phase I want to unbind that. Oh, thing, right. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. At the end of the action. charge phase. Monstrous so. actions. Archeon has one on his war scroll now. Uh, the Zinch head can eat and end the spell on and two we, up. We, we're pretty sure you don't need to be in range of... Of, like, have you don't have to be in combat do or anything. Because I think the, that's the whole thing that the Beastmen do. Yeah, and I think that's how people smash terrain and stuff, too, yeah, right? Exactly. So I think I can roll this. Yeah. So I'm going to roll. try to roll a two up to get rid of those jaws. I can't believe it's a two up. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what the... I mean, you can always just dispel it in your turn. It's true. So, uh, cool. 
Yeah, so that's going to be the end of Seraphon turn, and we'll be back with uh, Slaves of the Darkness Hero Phase. Okay, so here we are uh, at the bottom of one, Slaves of the Darkness. So we're going to pick our battle tactic. We're going to pick against the odds on this objective. Right. We're hoping that Archeon can kill Skinks. I don't know. But we'll see. I'm Hopefully. hoping he fails a three-inch charge twice. That would be bad. <laughs> I would not like that. Um, I forgot to mention earlier that Archeon oh, had right. to pick a mark at the start of the game, and he picked the mark of corn. Yeah, because that's the coolest one. Because it's fun. Mark of Nurgle is probably more competitive, but mark of corn is more fun. It's true. So, uh, we also took an extra command point for having Archeon, so we're sitting on four CP. Nice. Awesome. So, um, I'm sitting on three, because I took just one for my general not being dead. Yep. And Frankly yeah, so we're going to pick against the odds for yeah. our battle tactic. Okay. And then for our heroic action, I think we're going to pick the one of the heroic actions from the Slaves to Darkness book. Cool. I'm just going to see if I can get the name of it here. While you're looking that up, I'm picking um, heroic willpower to unbind with my Skink Chief. He's going to unbind one of Archibald's spells. Okay, this is draw on power. Okay. So it lets me cast on three dice. Okay. Uh, just not even drop the lowest, just three dice. Right. But if any two of them are a one, then I miscast and I take D6 mortal wounds. Whoa! So, cool. kind of risk reward, but it's uh, one of the fun. new heroic actions. So we're going to do draw and power on our general. Spicy. This guy in the back. Okay, let's see it. So, but first, I think we're going to try to get rid of this with Archeon. I was going to do it with him with his Master of Magic, but right. it's more fun to just roll it yeah. with Archeon and just try to get the seven. 50-50. Yeah. I like it. Okay. So can't we actually, we're going to grab some Malign importance dice. <laughs> Archeon's Learn been, uh, your mistakes. Archeon's been scrying the future here <laughs> and uh, reading the Malign importance in the sky. And he's going to use that and he's just going to roll oh. a seven. It's a seven! Oh! <laughs> I saw the one. Yes. Those Malign Portance dice are Aha. so good. If you can find them, buy them. Yep, I have two sets. They're amazing. All oh. right. See you later, Jaws. Oh. Bink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't see that on camera, but yeah. He, yeah, I tried to punch it. pretended him. to kick it. <laughs> okay, so that's one of Archeon's spells. Down. Okay. I'm most unfortunate, my lord. Yeah. Then uh, we're going to go over to our Sorcerer Lord over here with his 3d6, and he's gonna cast. It's way too late now. I just wanna let the audience know that I'm an idiot and I didn't double shoot my Bastilladon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Duh. That's yeah, that's bad. That's unfortunate. If you already wrote it in the comments, thank you. Yeah. I, yes, you're right. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm an empty. Yeah, you'd think that one of us playing this <laughs> army would remember <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I did play that army exclusively for a year. <laughs> um, all right, well, he's casting. Cool. He's gonna cast Mystic Shield on the Warriors. I set him up so he's holy within 12. This is 12. before you went over to the Dark Gods. Yeah, so Mystic Shield. Whoa. That's 12. Dang. And you don't have to drop any of the dice? Nope. Wow. It's just a 12. That's wow. Well, I can't, I can't, I can equal that with my slat on boxcars. Doesn't he get a plus one? Uh, what's that? Doesn't he get a plus one? Yeah, but like, if I roll... If oh, roll I see. Yeah, if you roll right. boxcars and he gets oh, plus then one, I guess there's then no you're point. 13. I might as well because I have enough yeah. dice to do it right now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Good call. So, so yeah. no, that doesn't do it. Okay, so plus one save on the Chaos Warriors. Plink. Okay, and then for his next cast, he's going to try to put Demonic Power on Archeon. Plus Whoop. one to hit and wound. Oh my goodness. And he's six. That's a 12. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darkness. Aha. Ah, dang. Yeah. All right. I saw a six first. Plus one to hit, plus one to wound. That 3 6 cast is pretty dope. Wow, yeah. I like it. Okay, now we just got Archeon left. And... If any of those dice have been a one, you perils? No, two. Any two. Any... Oh, any... Wait. Oh, any I see. Any two of the three dice. Oh, that's still really good. Yeah, it's still good. Yeah. And when you have Master Magic for the reroll, like, you're not yeah, going to miscast, you're not probably. Gonna, yeah. Should, uh, now that I've said that, it's going to happen <laughs> yes. first thing next turn. <laughs> yeah. um, so Archeon's got one more spell. He's just going to have to Arcane Bolt because his spell is Binding Damnation, which is Fight Last. Oh, And okay. uh, that's a 12-inch range. range. So it. he'll just try to put up uh, Arcane Bolt. Uh, cool. That's a four. That's a fail. That is a fail, unless he has plus one. Nope. Okay. Nope, just straight dice. So no Arcane Bolt for Archeon. Nice. Too bad, so sad. Um, and I think that's everything for the hero phase. Nice. So we'll be back after movement. Excellent. 
Okay, so here we are after movement. Uh, Chaos Warriors, we paid a command point to run them six. Right. So they move forward 11. We ran the Chaos Sorcerer Lord behind this terrain here. Mm -hmm. And then we move these knights up 10. We move these guys up six. And Arcan up has 14. Nice. So everyone just kind of moved up. And then we're going to uh, attempt some charges. That makes sense to me. So I think we try the knights first. Interesting. Not so, Archibald, because you want to know about the reroll? I want to know about the reroll, yeah. Okay. I, know, I want to know where. I oh, and you did not choose to do the Eye of Ed Sheeran or whatever it's called where you. Right, where I, deter where I get to determine who. That's free now, but. But it's once per game. It's, prob it's once per game, so you're thinking maybe. I'm next thinking two to three. Yeah. Is probably what'll happen, that unless I get a double anyway, and then I'm on the bottom, and then maybe not. Who knows? That makes sense. But uh, I'm not going to use it right away, so okay. we're going to hang on to that. Cool. So we're rolling charges. Uh, these guys are Slanesh, so they okay. get plus one. Oh, they get plus one, so they can't fail. Probably not. Got it. Uh, that's a nine, plus one is a tenner. Pretty good. And another thing to note is knights fight in two ranks now. They get the half inch of half an inch Why rule. Why does everyone get Which that? is amazing. All the time, yeah. So I've been running them like three up front and six in the back, wow. and they all get the fight. It's so good. Wow, okay. So 10 inches. Or you can just put it down if you want. Or unless you want to... Just put them all down and then move them afterwards? Is that what we're, yeah, that what we're saying? Yeah. yeah, that's fine. And there. Charge with Archeon. Cool. cool. Give me some dice. That'll oh my do. goodness, that will do. Nine on Archeon. And I probably... I'll, I think I'll unleash Hell with the... If he's assuming he's in. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be within six right? of something there. So, so. I'll, I'll, we'll roll that after if that's cool with everyone. Yeah. Yep, and then we'll charge here. Cool. We're looking at an eight. Oh yeah, they didn't run. No, because they can't right. run a charge. So. Ah. so they just moved up, and they'll try for the eight. That's an eight. Ooh. All right, they're going to make it. You could have made your that other battle tactic. I could have. That's a lot to ride on a rolling an eight, though. That's true. Two whole points. Yeah. It's pretty big. Oh, maybe eight doesn't get me there. Uh, that within a half an inch? Uh, let's see. That's pretty close. Yeah, I don't think that gets it in. Yeah, yeah. okay, just. Yeah. Okay. And then, I guess you'll move them and then we'll come right back? Sure. Cool. Okay, so... So Archeon kind of charged the whole <laughs> army by accident. Yeah, this is going to be a short battle report, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah. you're welcome, slash I'm sorry. Yeah, he's uh, literally fighting the entire Seraphon <laughs> army, yeah. except for the Dread Saurian and Ten Skinks. Yeah. Um, so, but before that, I am going to unleash Hell. Yep. But this guy, I'm plus one, minus one, so it's hitting on his regular profile, which is fours. That's a lot of threes. A lot of threes. A lot of threes, ladies and gentlemen. So four hits. Okay. I'm, fine. I'm fine with that. Threes. Uh, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, come on. <laughs> come on. Uh, I'm going to save this on a four up. That's about as cocked as it gets. Yep. <laughs> nope. That's oh, okay. damage. Two, two damage. Two damage. Yeah. Uh, actually, am I a chaos demon? Oh. I am a Chaos Demon. Oh. That's three damage. It is. But okay. I got a five up ward. Five up ward. So one damage. Nice. Nicely <laughs> done. <laughs> All right. Sweet. As it Hell should. has been unleashed. Yeah. And then monstrous action starting with you. Right. I guess we do the Nurgle one. The Nurgle, yeah. okay. So I'm going to puke on these guys. On the, okay, yeah. So I roll one dice for each model in the unit, up, oh. up to seven. What? Max, okay, yeah. and then on a three up, you take a mortal. <laughs> so seven dice. <laughs> seven dice, three ups are okay, mortals. Okay, I do have a six up ward on them, so I feel like you're going to do nothing. <laughs> Actually, do I want to do that? I don't want to do it's that. It's awesome, though. No, but it's not awesome. Why not? Because then you pull these guys. I'm not in. I'm not in range. I can't pile away from anybody. Oh, Your unit lives, and I what? fail my battle tactic. See, I would have just walked. I would have walked right past that. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. But uh, we're trying to. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Trying so to hone that. our skills, so yeah. we're not going to puke on them. Okay. What we are going to do is we're going to eat one of them. Okay. And then heal that wound. So on a two up, oh, cool. I can grab one model from the unit and eat him. Yeah. And then heal his number of wounds. Which so one is which? Which what is that? Which? Head? Uh, the corn head. Corn head. Cool. Yeah. So the corn head is going to try to eat a skink. We're going to okay. try to pick the alpha. Yeah. Whichever one the alpha is, the guy that gets the plus one at the. Oh head. yeah, he's right there. Okay, I'm going to try to eat him because he's within <laughs> three inches. So I need yeah. a two up. I do. Okay. So he's eaten. 
by the corn head, and then Oof. that heals my one wound that I took on the Unleashed Shell. Cornhole. Okay. Okay. So there we go. Uh, monster's action done for me, and you've got three to do. Right. So I will uh, roar from. No, I will roar from this guy. Into Archeon? Yeah. Okay. Into Archibald. Uh, I got it with three. Okay. He has roared. I will. Uh, uh, he is plus one to hit and wound already. Does that matter? To oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you want to call that roar on somebody else? I'll call it on them if you don't mind. From then. him? Yeah. Okay, from so from him. him, and then then you can still do him something in Archeon? Yeah, I mean... Titanic have, Duel? Oh, Titanic Duel! Brilliant! Yeah, I'll do Titanic Duel on him, and then this guy will stomp on the, the little guys. Yep. Two up. <laughs> no, he won't. <laughs> <laughs> he sure won't. Oh, man. That's hilarious, though. Okay, so yeah. do you want to... I guess you'll pile your guys in, and we'll be right back? Yeah, that cool. sounds good. Okay, so we've piled in our splintered fang here. Uh, we got in nine of them. The snakes aren't going to quite get in. Um, so there are three attacks each, um, but we're uh, minus three because this guy didn't make it in. Okay. So, or oh, I see. Everybody, yeah. So it's twenty-seven attacks. Yeah. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Is there's twenty-seven attacks here, but then this guy and this guy each get plus one attack. Cool. So we're at twenty-nine attacks. So I think I have thirty. I like how they simplified it. There's not like a bunch of weird special rules. Yeah, like oh, plus one to hit on this one yeah, model. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I have too many dice. So I have thirty. So here's twenty-nine dice. We are going to all out attack. Cool. So they normally hit on fours. This will go to threes. Sixes do mortal wounds. Nice. And then we wound on twos. They might be just. <laughs> yeah, so everything into the skinks, okay. hitting on uh, threes. Okay. A lot of mortal wounds. That's a lot. Well, not a Wait, are they just amount. gone? Wait, that, I think they're just gone, dude. Uh, what's that? Four, Four six. There's another one there. Seven. So yeah. seven of them are just Seven gone. are toast. Okay, and those are instead, so then we'll roll our wound rolls. Actually, I'm just going to wait for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Wounding on twos. Uh-huh. Wow, that's pretty good. Uh, so three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen saves. I think they're dead. Yeah. Okay. They're dead. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I just rolled six dice. <laughs> that works. Cool. Yeah, splintered fang, not too bad. Hundred point unit. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, okay, so I will. Um, oh, two more skinks here. Yes, I'm, I'm just gonna come back because I'm oh, yeah. gonna I'm pile in with someone and <laughs> attack. Yeah. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I've decided to go with um, with this guy. The regular, talk, stegular. We talked about it for a little bit. I was hoping to like do enough wounds, but Eric's like, that's not going to happen. Yeah. Bracketing Archeon only loses him one attack. And it's not going to matter. And one sense. damage on one of his other weapons, which is just not exactly. going to make any difference, whereas killing a couple knights might make a difference. It might make a difference, so yeah. And they've been roared, so they can't take an all-out defense. So that's something, yeah. right? So we're going two attacks. Uh, I did it all on attack. Yeah. So it's two attacks hitting on twos. Um, should I re roll that? That's fine. That's a two. Yeah. Uh, and then wounding on threes. Uh, so that's one at minus one. Okay. So four up save. Cool. Nope. Take the damage. Five. Oh, no, no. Four damage. Four damage. Okay. Yeah. So that's going to be two knights because that guy had two wounds on him. Oh, wow. Oh, they have wait, how three many? each. Three each. Okay. Cool. Uh, and now we've got three attacks with the jaws because coalesced. Yep. Uh, cool. They all hit. And wounds on threes. Uh, that's two at minus one. Okay. Fours. Same nice. Both. Couple Oops. of sixes. And then we got crushing stops. We've got five attacks hitting on twos. Uh, and then we're wounding on threes. Uh, so that is one at minus one. Okay. Four up. Cool. A six again. Look nice. at that. With authority. With authority. <laughs> you will respect my authority. It's true. Um, you will. So now it's Archibald, I assume? Yeah, I think Archeon will go next. Cool. So I'm just going to make a couple decisions on how to split my attacks, and we'll be right back. Perfect. Okay, so we're back. So Archeon has decided to split his attacks, and he just wants to make sure that he kills the things he's intending to kill. So we're just going to split between the Slan and the Skinks. Cool. So the slant is going to get the Slayer of Kings 
and it's going to get the monstrous claws. Cool. And then the skinks are going to get the lashing tails and the chimeric heads. Nice. Um, one thing I realized that I forgot to do was do the by my will command ability right. to allow a unit to fight on death. So I should have probably at the start of combat put that on the Chaos Knights so that when they got attacked, they right. could have still fought. But we didn't do that, so we're not going to do that. But it's an interesting yeah, it's a cool ability that we had that yeah. uh, I didn't really think about. So, um, we're plus one to hit and wound from demonic right. power. Right. So. Oh, but you were minus one because then he's minus in one because he's in the thing. Yeah. So we're gonna go back to straight hits against the slam. Cool. Um, you so could, if you wanted to, spend the all-out attack. I could actually. Yeah. I already hit on twos though. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so we're good. Yeah. And then it would wound on threes, but it'll now wound on twos. Right. And your plus one attack because of corn. Yeah. So I have five attacks here. Uh, with the Slayer of Kings, uh, these are going to be twos and twos. If I get two sixes to wound, he's just dead. He's just died. He's in the sword. So here we go. Hit roll. Okay. One missed. That's one six. Wound roll. Not, yep. Here we go. Okay. Only one six. Uh, three at minus two. Minus two. Okay. So I think he's on a six up. I... No, he must be on a better save than that. Isn't he on a four up? We will find out. Oh, because he's in the thing. Yeah. Right. Right, 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 right. So then, uh, right, I didn't think about that. But I think he's on, so he's on a four, he's on a four up normally. Right? Yeah, he's on a four up. Yeah. So then he goes with six, but then he gets plus one. Plus one for a five, right? So five. So okay. three, uh, saving that fives. Oh, yeah. Um, I really should have. You mind if I all out defense? You can totally. I still got defense. the the, the, the claws to go. Hundred percent. That's my last CP. But okay. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I would do that too. Um, okay, so. So you're ignoring my rend, and you're on force. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> That's gonna be six damage. <laughs> well, okay. that one was like definitely yeah, yeah. cock. So. Um, so three each. So six damage. Six damage, and he has one more wound. <laughs> okay. All the claws only get three attacks because two plus one. Yeah, but you're you're still hitting on what? Uh, Threes? Twos. Twos? And okay. Twos. Dang, so. Yeah. And that's also a rank two. So here we go. Okay. Three hit. Three hits. Three wounds. Three wounds. Four he upset. Oh, because he's plus one to wound, too. Okay. Well, it already wounds on... Oh, no, wounds on three. So, it is, so but I need he to is make wound, three so. four ups here. Okay. Make them all. Nope. I made one. <laughs> all of them one. So poof, he dies. Boom. All right. He's, he's not inside the sword. He's Unfortunately inside not. the belly of the monster. It's true. Yeah. And then we're going to roll the tail. So he gets right. 2d6 attacks. Wow. Oh. <laughs> okay. And then he gets plus one for corn. So 13, 13 attacks. That's Two, cool. four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. 12, <laughs> 13. And these would, were, were fours and threes. So now they're going to be threes and twos. Okay. Into the skinks. Cool. Threes. Well, that's a pretty bad roll. Okay. And twos. Uh, five at uh, no rend. At no rend. So. Five up. Is it because because of, of their their shields? Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh. So I saved three of them. Wow. So you take uh, theirs are just one each. So you take two and then you get your ward save. So two die. Yep. Bloop. And then we got the heads. Right row. Uh, this so. Is, this is where the magic happens, right? Uh, six attacks base plus one for corn. Okay. And these will be twos and twos with the bonus. Cool. Okay. One missed. And one didn't wound. So we got a <laughs> five at rend one this time. Okay. So six up save. And I'd make none of them. Two each. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, right, okay, so that's 10. For the six up. I need a lot of sixes here. I get three, but they're still dead, I think. Four, yeah, five, six, seven. That's yeah. exactly enough. Perfect enough to kill them. Wow. That was, that was. But they were going to all probably run away anyway. Because oh, right, because I can't, can't. can't receive Inspiring Presence right. within 12. I don't, I don't have a CP Oh, anyway. yeah, also that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I guess I will swing back with my general. Yeah, 
general or the dread saurian. Or the dread saurian doesn't really matter, right? No. Nope. Um, I'll go with the dread saurian because he's cool. So okay, I'll get my dice ready and we'll be right back. Beauty. Okay, we're back. We're going with the dread saurian because of, I have some. We talked about it, but some. I was. I wanted to instead of. Uh, if I go with him first and I attack Archeon, then you could pile Then I could pile into him and pin him and he can't move. Exactly. So afterwards. that was so. sort of the plan. Um, so yeah, I'm going over with the, the Dread Saurian first. He's got four attacks with his gargantuan jaws. They are hitting on four still because, yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. All right. That's, that's pretty good. So then uh, wounding on threes. So we got three at minus two. Okay, no save. Oh, shoot. Okay. I wasn't prepared for that. There's six damage each. All right, that's the unit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one <Wow>. bite. <laughs> one bite. He has one extra uh, attack with his jaws just for everyone at home because of uh, Coalesced. Right. So, so that's awesome. them. So we'll remove them yeah. momentarily. And then do you want to attack with, I'm assuming, with them? Yeah, so we'll yeah. come back in a moment and we'll attack with the Chaos Knights into the Stegodon. Perfect. All right, so here we are. We're gonna start with the Chaos Knights into the uh, Stegatron there. So we have the banner for plus one attack on the charge. So they're gonna be four attacks each with the lances, mm -hmm. and we've got eight knights. So uh, we have 32 attacks, plus <laughs> one for the champion is 33. Yes. Uh, we've been roared, so yes. we can't all attack. So That's these true. will just be fours and threes. Right. Okay. I guess that's the one downside, is they're hitting on fours? Yeah, hitting on fours is not great. No. But uh, but they've got a bunch of other cool abilities that probably makes up for it. The fighting within half an inch of half an inch. Yeah, and there's ways to buff them and so yeah. on and so forth. So, But we're going in raw on threes. Okay, I don't think we're going to kill this ticket on here. Two, four, six, eight, nine at Ren two. Nine, okay. So we got five and four. Oh, I took six by accident. So we got, so nine at Ren two, you said? Yes. So he's saving on f fives? There's fives five. with Mystic Shield, yeah. Right, okay. Um, so we say, we missed, uh, that was a pretty good roll. Yeah. Quite good. What's the damage on it? Well, it's two, but minus one, so back to one. Oh. So you're okay. just going to take five damage. Five damage, okay. And then we got to roll the horsies. Yep. So we got six horsies, which is 12 dice. So five damage taken with the uh, Gandalf dice. Nice. And these are just fours and fours. Cool. Crappy little horses. Who's and teeth? Who's and teeth? Ooh, look at that. Oh, there you go. Four, no rend. Four, no rend. So saving on uh, three. Threes. Yes. Okay. Uh, so two go through. Cool. One, one damage. Okay. Yep. So we crank that up. Cool. Okay. Um, I guess it's now just this guy? Yep. Just him and Archeon. Huh? Oh, right. Okay. So I'll get my dice ready because he takes way longer than everyone else because of his True. all his crazy rolls. So we'll be right back with that. Okay, we're back. Oh yeah, I guess I got a pile. All right, skank chief. Skank. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> we got three attacks with the war spear. Uh, it is Titanic duels, so he's hitting on two. Is that war with an H? Yes, it's. Wait, isn't it always with an? Oh, with an H. Sorry, I think. Uh, it's been a long day. Uh, hitting on twos. <laughs> uh, there's a couple ones in there and yeah. a single two. And nice. a single two. Nailed it. Threes. Uh, so that's, you better look out. Oh, and I'm all at defensing, by the way, right. for a command point. That makes sense. Sorry, what's the rend? Uh, minus one. Okay, so back to a three up save. Yep. Save. Oh. Okay, so now we're on to the horns. He's got uh, three attacks because of Prime War Beast. Horns. Hitting on twos. Uh, so that's two Once. hits. Sweet. Wounding on threes. Uh, that's just one at minus one. Okay, three up. Saved. Okay. And now we're going over to the grinding jaws. We got four attacks because of Coalesced and Prime Warbies. Hitting on twos. This <laughs> Ones every time. <laughs> yeah. They like me. They really like me. So now we got two at minus one. Two minus one, so three up saves. Oh. 
<laughs> they save them both. All right, Archeon is hulking up here. Yeah. He will take no damage. Does not care. Hitting off, so six attacks from the stomps because of... Uh, Reasons. Prime War Beast, yeah. Uh, hitting on twos and then wounding on threes. Uh, so oh, we got dude. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's shape two. up here, all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Roll better. <laughs> Roll better. You're making idiot. me look like a jerk. <laughs> minus, do it minus one. Okay, minus one. Three up saves. Do it. Hey, we made them <laughs> up. Yeah, yeah. What do you know? <laughs> all right, I think... Uh, oh, I guess I can go with the Ankylosaurus. I think the Chaos Gods are trying to decide this game before yeah. turn two. Uh, Bastilodon. Uh, Bastilodon, I think he's three attacks, threes and threes. I think it's four attacks. Is it? Okay. I believe it's four attacks. I, I will I will look it up just because, I mean, I could cheat at this point, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly. no one would blame me. Uh, oh, you're right. Four attacks. Oh, wait, nope. No, it is three attacks. It oh, is three attacks. All right, I was wrong. Hitting on threes. There wound, we go. Wounding on threes. Death is coming your way. Minus one rend. Threes. Hey, we took one. D3 damage. One damage. <laughs> All right. Five up ward. <laughs> Do it. Oh. Uh, I was hoping it would be a six and you would take the wound instead. Oh, that would have been even better. <laughs> okay, so I that take one wound on Archeon. Oh, no, it's two damage, isn't it? Uh, no, it's just one. Is Wait, that, what? Isn't it two damage on that? What do you mean? I, I, rolled, a, I rolled a D3. And it was, oh, yeah, it was yeah. one. It was D3. That's yeah. what it was. Sorry, I was thinking it was two damage for some reason. No worries. Cool. One wound on Archeon. And that is... That's going to be the end of my turn, I think. Yeah. So I'll just pay for the battle shot because we're at the end of the round and I have right. a command point, so we won't have to worry about the dead knights. I really feel like you could have done better that turn, but it's yeah. only turn one. It's early game. So the minus one damage and hitting on fours really hurt that That That's charge. true. I was I think, joking uh, because you... Yeah, you did yeah. pretty good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but the rest of it went pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> um... So, I guess so I'm going to score one and more, more. and my battle tag for tactic. four. So we are tied. Yep. <laughs> you know. <laughs> for now. <laughs> for now. Um, Should we roll in the yeah, day sure, on a... Sure, yeah. So uh, roll off for turn two. It's a five. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the turn. I'll be, I'll be a nice guy. Oh, man. I'll be a nice guy and give you the turn because your entire army is engaged. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Except for the Dreadsaurian. Except for the Dreadsaurian. He can but, go fight somebody if he wants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you the turn. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm such a benevolent chaos god. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that was this most um, benevolent of you, my lord. Indeed. So we'll be... <laughs> I'm just taking the Mystic Shield off now. Uh, won't be using that again. And also, you get to keep your endless spell... Yeah, you get to go right. home with it. And I get to keep my uh, Mystic Shield and my plus one, plus one. Right. If I, if I get oh, turn. yeah, that's super good. Although the slam's dead, so I can probably get those off again. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, there's nothing to stop you except for your own bad rolling. It's true. Theoretically, on three dice yeah. uh, with a reroll. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Actually, uh, he's probably out of range for most good things anyway. Cool. But, uh, yeah, I guess... Uh, Are you sure you're giving me the turn? Yeah, I'm okay. going to give uh, Seraph on the turn. And uh, we'll be back with the uh, Seraphon turn two hero phase. Coming up. <laughs> so we're back with the uh, Seraphon <laughs> turn two. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. It's looking pretty dark. There's a bit of a, a, bit of a shadow, yeah. you know. Yeah, exactly. A shadow over the battlefield after the death of the slant. <laughs> so I'm going to... Um, so my, what's my uh, battle tactic? It's going. This to, one's mine. This one's mine. So I'm, I'm gonna just pray that I can actually take yeah. out. Yeah. He's gonna try to kill. If I can Archeon. take out Archeon, then maybe I'm back in this thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then I'm going to subsequently birthday him because he's probably toast. Yeah. The crazy part is, it's also Archeon's birthday. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> what a coincidence. I know. Isn't that weird? Coincidence of coincidences. So I cannot. I only get two CP, and yeah. my slant is dead. So yeah. there's no extra CP. So that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. It's just the way it you is. You can do a heroic action to try to get a third one. No, but then I can't birthday him. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, and you want to do that. I, I kind of need to. Yeah. Um, so this is what we what we got. I'm not going to remember. I'm not going to forget to double shoot him this time. So. Yeah. Uh, who, who, who are we kidding? That could happen. It's true. So, uh, uh, but I am going to try and curse Archeon. Yes. So this goes off on a four, four normally, but I am... Uh, plus one. Because you're next to the terrain. Then next yeah. to the terrain. So it goes off. Okay. So he has been cursed. Okay. Sixes are mortals. I don't know what to put I get next well, to I him. I had a token, but I got rid of it. I, I, I have a... Yeah. Let's go white token. 
Sweet, that means curse. That means curse. Yeah. Um, so then, so he's been cursed, and I, is that my, the end of my hero? <laughs> Yeah. I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it is. so we'll be back with um, at the end of the movement phase. This very short movement phase. Okay, here we are. Um, the Dread Story, he, Eric let me flip him around the right way because it, looks, yeah, cause it otherwise. Looks, looks cooler, but yep. the base is in the same place it would be. Exactly. And uh, Oh, and then <laughs> we remembered that I could have given him a plus one to his save and Run and plus one to hit. Yeah. yeah. No, no, and run and charge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. and then that too, yeah. And so then also so the I can spend hit. that in between rounds, but not super interesting stuff. Uh, but just wanted to touch on it. And yeah, so now we got four attacks coming from this guy here. Okay, and Archeon is going to all at defense. He is. And he's also best day ever, so the round one will put him to a two, two up save, which is pretty good. Back to two up. So, and then I do have curse on him, so six is our mortal wounds in addition. Yep. Cool. Um, so those are two hits. Yep. No mortal wounds. And, but they're two wounds, and you don't care about okay, the rent because so it's... Yep, two up. Take one. How uh, much yeah. damage? Uh, I think they're three damage. Yes, because I'm a... Uh, or that's because it's from the crossbow, right? Yeah, the crossbow. Okay, so I get to roll my ward save. Five up. <laughs> nope. Okay. Take three damage. Okay. There we go. So now uh, three attacks from the regular. Yep. Stegatron. Stegatron. Uh, that's one six. Okay. And so that he takes a mortal wound plus uh, one. One save. Yeah. So I'll do the save first. Cool. I and save it. Save it, yeah. And then what's the damage? Three? The damage is... So I have one mortal and then... Three. But you saved it. So I saved it. So it's just the one yeah. mortal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I take it. Okay. So he's taking five. Except for this ward save. It hasn't done anything. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, now we've got... Because I'm in such a bad spot, I, <laughs> I should be complaining right now. I'm going to spend I'm gonna spend my CP in advance. Okay. Because everything's going... For double shooting? Yeah, for yeah, double yeah, shooting. Yeah, yeah, let's just not forget that. Cool. 100%. Yeah. So... And so, this is the first shot with the Basilidon? Yeah, I'll just do them in two rounds, yep. I guess. Uh, so he's hitting on threes yep. because of the other thing. Um, and two mortal wounds. Okay. I'll roll the saves right now. Sure. I just take one. Okay. Save one. And wounds on three, so that's three at, you don't care. Yeah, yeah. Three two ups. Three two ups, indeed. Saved. Nice, and you reflect a mortal wound. Uh, that's only on the ward save. Oh, it's only on the ward save, yeah. got it. Wait, that is the ward save. Was that the ward save? Those, are those mortals? Oh no, these are regulars. Yeah, those are regular attacks, <laughs> I thought. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you just saved them all. Yes. Okay. Oh, and then you did the other mortal wound thing earlier. Yes, but I haven't rolled a six for the mortal wound save. You have not? Okay. No. So he just took an additional wound, right? Oh, I saved that. I just didn't roll a six. I rolled a five. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, so now we do that again. So six. Or did I roll a five? I don't know. Now I can't remember. I thought you missed one. Maybe I did. I added one back. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. I'll put, a, I'll put a wound on. Okay. Let's just do that. Okay. Let's just say that it happened. Okay. <laughs> I, I thought it happened, but like... Yeah, it probably did, and I'm making a mistake, so let's just put it on there. Um, so okay, no threes. Threes, one mortal wound. One mortal wound. Okay, let's roll that one mortal wound sure. now, because yes. it's a mortal wound and we yes. don't get confused. Okay, okay. I take one mortal so take wound. take one mortal wound, and now we're hoping for... Threes to wound. Uh, so that is five at minus, yeah. Five. <laughs> five two ups. Two up, so three Whoa. go through, and that's and they're three damage each, right? Yeah, that's nine on my ward save. Woof, Archeon. That What's was going on here, pal. That was pretty good. That was very good. Okay. Ooh, that's some reflections. So you take two. Okay. And I'm gonna who, take who another takes six. Two? Okay. Uh, this guy's got damage on him. Oh so let's right. Put it into him. Okay, so he's, he's got three now. And I'm gonna take six more. Okay. How many does he have left? He has taken 14, so he has 11 remaining. Wow. So you might actually be able to kill him. I might be able to kill him. Okay. Uh, so charge with the dread? Yep. Uh, that should do I'll it. do. Yeah. And he has a special rule. He gets, he gets one mortal wound charge thingy if you're a monster. Okay. I don't remember if it's D3 if you're which one is which. So I'm just going to look it up super quick like. And it's called obliterating charge. Uh, 
it suffers D3 mortal wounds if it is a monster, D6 if it is not a monster. So, okay. so two up, four, D3. For one. Okay. Word save. Let's grab my importance dice. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay, take one. So then, um, so now monstrous actions. Yeah. So I'm going to try and roar at you with uh, that guy. Okay. It doesn't really matter. Oh, actually, no, it does matter. I'll roar at you with the Bastilladon. Yeah. Uh, so that goes off. Okay, I'm so roared. He is roared. And then I might... Oh, jeez. I think I'm going to Titanic duel you. Yeah, with the Dreadsaurian. With the Dreadsaurian. Yeah. Wait, did I pick... Uh, this one's mine, or did I pick uh, Eye for an Eye? You picked this one's mine. Okay, so then maybe I should do that on him. Um, and then stomp with him? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, wait, I don't have any CP left. <laughs> oh. Right, so I can't all-out attack. Yeah, so, so that's who... So who needs it? Probably the Saurian. Yeah, I'll give it to him. Because he hits on fours and that guy he already hits on, hits on threes. Yeah, that's, yeah. A good, that's a good call. So he's going to Titanic Duel and then he's going to stomp. Onto the Knights. Onto the Knights, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll roll it again. For D3, for two. Okay, they get a five up. Nope, two damage. On to a Knigget. Okay, so then okay, up there. I will go with, oh jeez. This is like a... Oh, I need to do a monster's action with Archeon. Right, you do. So... Oh, then I roar the Dreadsaurian, right? Yeah, but then it doesn't do anything because... Oh, you're, did you Titanic Duel me already? Duel, yeah, right, yeah. okay. So, I think you should... I should roar. Titanic Duel. Titanic Duel I'm me already back. Plus, I'm already plus one to hit. Oh, but you're oh. minus one to hit on him. I am. There, nothing else makes sense. Yeah. It literally doesn't do anything anywhere else. Yeah, because you can't spend. Where do you, don't you have a command point? Oh, you don't have no, a command point. That's point what points. it is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Then I'll Titanic duel the uh, Stegatron. Chief. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you have ten wounds left. Yeah, because my. But your birthday. Yeah. So you will be saving on three ups. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, this is scary. Three up, five up. Three up, five up. Well, I haven't made a single word save. I don't think yet. So. Oh, but you're probably gonna kill him. If I don't go with him, yeah. So I, I'm just gonna go with him. So I'll get my. Oh, which means he has to kill. I would go with the Bastilladon first because it's not gonna kill me. Oh, but then I get to go. But then you get to yeah, go, yeah, and then yeah, you yeah, just murk this guy yeah, like yeah, yeah. easy peasy poo. I think I just yeah. have to go with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just pray. Yeah, you do. Do you want to change it to eye for an eye? You can. Uh, I don't no. care. That's it's kind of it's late for that. It's late for that. I mean, if we had thought about it a little bit longer, we might have realized this was going to come up. I'm okay with you switching to Ivern. If you don't mind, then. I think that's what we should Very do. Very kind. Yeah. Just to keep me in this game. Yeah, that makes, that makes it more of a game and doesn't yeah. put your entire game on this roll. On oh, this one roll? Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. So let's call it okay. call it Ivern I. Perfect. And then Thank you. And you can you. kill him with anybody. <laughs> Especially considering what happened last time, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So I will, I'll get my dice ready, though, and... Oh, so if you're doing it that way, I titan Titanic dueling him doesn't matter anyway, because why would I attack the guy that already hit Yes, it? that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. it does, so it doesn't actually matter. Because none of the none of the ones on his war scroll work either. Okay. Against monsters. Well, well, but like, is there someone you want to kill? Then you might as well Titanic duel them. Because he, oh, this guy's minus one to hit, so you might yeah, as well. That's the, and that's the only reason I needed it. So I, I'll, I will Titanic duel him, I just don't oh, think okay. it'll matter. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so I will, um, I'll get my dice ready real quick, and then I'll be right back. Okay. So I had to get my, my dice ready because he's he's got a long line of attacks and they he gets plus one to certain things and yeah. So I'd, anyway, so he's going to attack into Archibald now. We've got three attacks with the war spear, the scariest weapon. On, no, it's not. Uh, so he's hitting on threes and oh, and that's a six. Okay. So I take a mortal five yes. up. Nope. Take it. Okay. Um, and then wounding on twos because best day ever. Uh, so it's one at minus one. One at minus one, yeah. two up save. Just one up. It's a, it's a three up, right? It's, it's, uh, it's a three up. I'm plus one. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it would be okay. minus one. It would be three up. Yeah. Okay. So cool. I'm saved. Sweet. And then three attacks with the massive horns. Gross. Uh, so that's one mortal wound. And okay. he misses twice. Okay. Mortal wound save. Nope. Take it. Okay. 
And then wounds on a two. He does wound at minus one. Okay, three up. Saved. Okay. So then we've got four attacks with the jaws. Uh, two sixes. Okay. And three hits. Mortal wound saves. No, nope, take them both. Okay. Archeon, not looking good here, pal. Oh, jeez, no, that's... I haven't made a single ward save. I don't think you... Oh, you made one? I think I made, 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 made one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so then three at, on twos for the wound. So that's three wounds at minus one. Okay, three up. Save them all. Ooh, that was good. And now we've got six attacks with the stompy stomps hitting on threes. Uh, no mortal wounds. Okay. And wounding on twos. Uh, so that's three at minus one. I guess. Okay, three ups. Take one. So that's two damage. Two damage. Ward save. Well, there you, you go. take one, I, I take do. one. Nice. So let's put the one into the dread saurian. Or, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Yeah, that guy there. Okay, so four. So he is. He's down to like two wounds left, right? Within three, yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, do you want to get your dice ready for Archibald? Yes, okay. I will do that, and we will be back momentarily. Okay, so Archeon, uh, I think he's going to die. So he's going to try to take the general Stegodon with him. That's cool. So he's going to put everything into the Stegodon general. Nice. And we're plus two to hit and plus two to wound right now, right. which is silly. So we're just going to put all of it into him. Cool. And, and oh, and by the way, at the start of combat, I was supposed to pick his crest thing. Right. He, he'll pick Archeon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this guy can't do it because there are more. There are yeah. more than five models there. Yeah. Yep. So awesome. So here we go. Cool. This is the Slayer of Kings. Right. Twos and twos. Twos and twos. You could just merc him here. If I get two sixes on this roll. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he was minus one to hit. Did that matter? Oh, I don't know. Oh, whatever. Uh, three. Ren two. Three at Ren two. Okay. Uh, oh no, he wasn't minus one because I was plus two. Oh, you're plus two? So well, because I'm plus oh, one, plus one, and I Titanic and dueled. right, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. That's I was, I'm like, I knew I there was a reason it didn't my matter. I cloak of feathers for the first time in my entire life. Nice. Yeah. By the way, the fusel of conflagration guy died. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it once again remains uneven. <laughs> exactly. Is it two Ren? Minus two Ren? Minus two. Yeah. Minus two. So he's plus one for his birthday, plus one for the crest. So yeah. it's just a four-up save. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he makes all of them. Okay. Like a boss. Uh, then we're down to the monstrous claws. Twos and twos. That's why the uh, little thing broke. One and one at rend two. Okay. Same thing as before then. Uh, he saves it. Wow. All right. Two six on the tail. What a turn burglar. Seven attacks. Two, four, six, and one. These are going to be threes and twos. Man. Whoa. And twos. That's three. Okay, three. No rent. That would have killed me with the Slayer of Kings. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, not, yeah, but it's cool. not the Slayer of Kings. <laughs> so roll your sorry, dice. Sorry, well, <laughs> I forgot. I lost the plot. There's no rent. Three. No rent. Okay, so threes then. Because you can have more than. Oh, I lost. Yeah, them. nice. The tail hits you for two. Nice. So it's. One yeah, damage each. One damage each. Okay. So he takes two damage. Okay. And then I got my heads, which I am down to four attacks on the heads. Twos. Twos. Ooh. Uh, three, rend one. On the steg? Yeah. So he's still on threes because he's plus yeah. two. Uh, so that he saves them all. Yeah. Wow. Back on whiffs. Okay. Um, I might as well go with this guy then. Yeah. So I'll grab my dice and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. So the heavily wounded Stegatron will go into the knights. Yeah. Uh, he's got two attacks from the massive horns uh, hitting on threes. Oh, and we're all defensing, by the way. Cool. Okay. Uh, so that's two. Yeah, you did say that off camera. Yeah. yeah. Wounds on threes. Uh, so that's one at minus one. Okay, so three up save goes to a four up. And we save it on a okay, five. Cool. I, I was looking at the damage in case it mattered because he's been bracketed right. fully. So now we've got the grinding jaws hitting on threes. He's got plus one from Coalesce. Mm -hmm. Wounding on threes. Uh, so that's two at minus one. Okay, four up saves. Uh, make one, take one. Uh, it's two damage. Two damage, okay. Uh, we had damage on a guy. So we're just going to pull this guy nice. and put a wound on that guy. 
So now we've got crushing stonks because I like to be obnoxious. And <laughs> we got one dice hitting on threes. Oh, he hits. Wounding on threes. He does not wound. Okay. So that's him. And now it's the knights, I guess. Yep. So we will get your dice. pile in the knights, get their dice ready, and we'll be right back. Sweet. Okay, so we've piled in the Chaos Knights. Uh, I was going to try to pull in that other Stegodon, but then we remembered that it's my turn next. So it I is definitely, definitely your turn next. next. Yeah. <laughs> so these guys uh, all already all at defense, so they can't all at attack. So we're just going to hit on fours and threes. Cool. So everything into that Stegodon. These are the lances. Okay. I wish I did something on sixes. That would be nice. Whoa, pretty yeah. Good, pretty good roll. It's a good reminder to just use your Malign Portance dice, though. It's true. <laughs> My Chaos dice have not been treating me very well. Uh, threes. Yeah, this is much better. Two, four, six, eight, ten at rend one. Ten at rend one. Okay, so five. I mean, this is probably moot. Uh, ten, you said, right? You got two wounds left? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I... Yeah, he doesn't yeah. get anything, so he's saving on fives. Yeah, he's dead. Cool. Then I don't have to roll the horses. No. We love that. We both do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so he's dead, and then I guess I'll get the Dread Saurian ready, and and, and uh, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Cool. Okay, we're back. The Dread Saurian is gonna go into right. Archibald. This is the big battle. This is the big battle. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to come down to this, but I hoped it would. Yeah, and so they're right in the center of the board almost. Yeah, exactly. Amazing. I can't believe this is the bottom of turn one. We were just I saying know. this. Like, yeah. we Everybody's so dead. Times. I haven't even had a second turn. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Uh, so we got four attacks, hitting on threes because of the, uh, which is a good thing, because he missed otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so then we're wounding on threes. So that's two at minus two. OK, so it puts me to a four up save. Four up save, yeah. Okay. Oh, all right, my important dice. That's so, not very good. <laughs> yeah. So it's 12 damage. Yikes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eight, 10, 12. All right, I need some ward saves here. You do. I need many. You, do you know how many he has left? Uh, he's taken 19, so he's six left. Six so left. I need to roll like well, really, well, really, really, <laughs> yeah. really well, well. Like it, more than half. That's a good roll. Is it good enough? I take three, I take six exactly. Oh. And you take one. I take one. Who takes one? The stink, skink chief. The stink chief? Yeah, the, yeah, the stink <laughs> chief, exactly. All right, and that's it for Archeon. Wow. He's dead. Wow. That's wild. <laughs> yeah, that rolling those bad saves on the shooting was what. That was crazy. Me. Yeah, where he took like nine wounds for shooting. Like, yeah. Or 12 or something. Yeah. Some yeah, that crazy was crazy. number. So I guess those are yeah. That's his giant stack of buffs. Giant stack of, buffs. Giant stack of wound <laughs> tokens. Wow. Okay. Damn. So, so that's the end of the turn. Yes. Um, I just get two points. No, you get four because we switch to Ivor and I. No, but why? Oh I, yeah, you just get yeah. That. You don't control that. Yeah. Right? So you just get the two for Ivor and I. Yeah. Yes. So then uh, it's going to be your turn. Yes, my okay. turn too. Uh, I'll take a look at what I want to do, and we'll be back with my hero face. Nice. Okay, so here we are. Uh, the first thing we're going to try to do at the start of our hero phase is, I guess we pick our tactics and so on first. We're going to pick eye for an eye yes. and try to kill that general Yep. with these angry looking knights. Mm -hmm. And in furtherance of that, we are going to give 3d6 cast. Uh, to the wizard for a heroic action. Cool. And then we're going to try to rally these knights. Oh, right. So okay. for a CP, knights rally on a five up and ever chosen. Wow. Says so four up in the book, but there's been an FAQ to oh, make it five up. Oh, right. Okay. Um, so that's part of the update that came out before the book. Um, five up rally. We get two knights back. Whoa. Amazing. That is so cool. And the best part is we can stick them like ready to three. Don't you want the banner guy? I mean, I got a banner there. Oh, okay. But yeah, sure. Let's take the banner. Why not? You get a banner. You get a banner. Okay. Oh, and I get to uh, my heroic action. I'm going to uh, free CP roll on. I'll do it on actually on my general. Okay. Uh, he gets it. All right. Sweet. I'm rich. Rich in CP. Excellent. Uh, okay. Let's cast some magic, baby. Yeah. 
Let's do it. Actually, I got three dice right here. Those will do. And nothing can stop you. Exactly. So demonic power. Yes. Uh, plus one to hit and wound on those right. knights. I need a six. That's a six. That I'll take it. I won't re-roll it because I don't need to. Yeah, and I can't stop you. Plus one to hit and wound. I don't, I don't regret because I was pretty poor in CP, so. Yeah, fair. And I don't know if you can really do anything else. Mystic Shield? Well, it's holy within 12. Oh, right. So, like, I don't think I can do it. Arcane Bolt, I guess. Not or, worth the Or, like, 3d6 of... charge. I guess I go 3d6 charge oh, yeah, because I could fail that somehow. You can't fail. That's a good idea. Yeah, because I'm not going to move because I don't want you to redeploy. So let's go 3d6 charge. Demonic uh, Speed. Which again, in the book says six, but actually casts on a seven per the FAQ. Per the FAQ. Uh, I'm rolling three dice. Okay. Uh, you didn't perils. I, no, but I also failed. So I'm gonna re-roll that with Master of Magic. Right, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, we got it that got time. Got it that time, yeah. But barely, so 3d6 <laughs> charge on the knights. Cool. And just for people playing at home, you you would have perils if you'd had any two any ones two in of there. the three, and it's yeah. D six mortal wounds. Correct, instead right. of D three. Yeah, that's that would have been huge. Yeah. Uh, so I think we can probably do my movement phase on camera because I'm just going to move him real quick. Oh, okay, sure. So he's going to yeah. run four, four. So he can go nine. Zippity doo dah. I don't want you to be able to see him though, so let's just that's leave him here. Smart. Leave him there, and then can he get? No, he can't. He's worthless no matter where I put him. <laughs> so I mean, maybe I don't care if you kill him. Go ahead and kill him. Nice. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah, feel, feel free. Yeah. He doesn't do anything if I hide him, so I might as well make that happen. Okay, so there's movement phase. Let's go to shooting. Okay, there's shooting. Let's go to charges. Do it. 3, okay. D6. Three D6. And I'm assuming, are, are you charging the dread Dreadstorm with the knights or with the warriors? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I don't think that helps me in any way. I'm already on the objective. That's cool. I'm not going to kill him. Yeah, so that's smart. Uh, knights. That'll do. Okay. That's a that ten. Well, more so than you get plus it. one with Slanesh, so that's an eleven. Yep. Oh, let's try not to take our microphone. If you go, if you go within six, I can unleash hell. Yeah, so I should probably not do that. This is true. Uh, let me grab my six-inch marker so I know exactly where I can go. Oh, but you're going to be unleashing hell on fives. No, I'm still plus one to hit. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, because that was that skink thing that you did it on. Indeed. Okay, let's do it this way. I was just thinking, I, why didn't I put the token down? I talked about putting it in between on the Dread Saurian, but he wasn't in range. Right. Or what, what was he? Oh, he was. He was, yeah. but, we, but we chose to go with that, and it ended up being the right choice because yeah. of the sixes on, because uh, of Curse on Archeon. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, they're all in anyway. So to be sense. honest, it doesn't really matter, like, dodging the Unleash Hell too much. And like you said, they're already all in. Yeah, so. they're all in because of the yeah. fight within half an inch of half an inch. Exactly. But why take damage when you don't have to, right? Indeed. Okay, so the Knights are in. Excellent. So oh, let's uh, gather our dice. I'll do Monster's Action. Sure, yeah, yeah, you might as well. So I'll roar at them. Are they, are they already plus one? They're to plus hit? one to hit and wound already. Oh, but he's minus one to hit. Oh yeah, so the roar will matter. So I will roar. I do not. Okay. And and then on we go. Yeah. So then uh, let's just uh, come back after I gather my dice and cool. we'll attack with the cast knights. Nice. So I realize after you were about we were about to film the attacks, I was like, yeah. Wait, I originally should unleash hell because I only have two CP total, and so I'm unleashing hell with him. Yeah. Uh, he is minus one to hit. Yes. So it is hitting on fours. Uh, but he all hits. Wow. Like a boss. And he's no longer whatever best aid, so it's three at minus one. Okay, four up saves. Uh, nice. Save one. Okay, so that's there's three damage each. Uh, so six? Yes. Okay, so that's two knights. Wow. That was really good, actually. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should pull the guy with the wound, technically. So let's pull oh, him. I don't, whatever. And then put the wound back. Uh, okay, okay, so that's going to be eight attacks off of my so pile here. Minus eight attacks, and then four. Do you want to just go seven, into it? Eight. Yeah, no, let's just do cool. the roll. I didn't roar, so you can all out attack. Yes, so I will all out attack. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. So threes and twos. Nice. 
Because the reason you're 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 doing that for playing at home is because I'm minus one to hit. So yeah. otherwise you're. Yeah, because yeah. I'm plus one from demonic power. And fours to threes is a big deal. Yeah, <laughs> it is. So threes and twos. Cool. Threes and twos. Pretty, pretty good. Looks like all of them. Nice. And then twos to wound. From your Three. spell. I believe. I'm pretty sure. Yikes. Two, That's, four. There's another one there. That's crazy. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So at Ren, Ren two. Dice. <laughs> sixteen at Ren two? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do this twice because my hands are not big enough to do the... So 16, so I just need eight dice, and they'll do it twice. Uh, almost as nice. So we've got, oh, sorry, I am all at defense because that happened in the shooting phase. I literally still told you. Uh, you still have to do it again in the combat phase. Yeah, no, I know, phase. but like, like it's my last CP, and there's no Oh, point. I understand what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, 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 of course. I said it on camera in between that I was going to do that, right. and then I didn't actually do it on camera. Uh, so, sorry, so we've got, the crest doesn't do anything, so it's four up. Becomes a three up with all out defense. Yeah, he goes to five with Ren two. Ren two, cool. Okay, so fives. And I missed all of them but two. Okay, and there would be two damage, but they go down to one because you're right. stupid so that, thing. So he takes six damage. Yeah. Our stupid thing, Eric. Our stupid <laughs> no, thing. No, your stupid thing. I haven't played so, this army in a year. So, so he takes, actually, I'm just going to put it down now so I don't forget. So he's taken nine, and now. Uh, he saves three that, no, no, he saves four that time, so he takes another four damage. So, is he dead? I can't, how many, I don't know how many wounds the Skink Chief has. Uh, I think he starts with 10 and goes to 12. Or is it 12? I goes, think it's the Engine of the Gods that has 12 that goes oh, to 14. Really? Okay, let's find out. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do this live. We're gonna watch Rob's heart. Yes, 10 wounds to 12. And he has nine, and he just took an additional four, so that takes him to 13 wounds taken, so yeah. he is dead. so he's dead. I do have the horses to go, but they won't go now. Wow. Okay. okay what that was a good. bloody game. Yeah. That minus one damage is so big, because those knights are such a damage dealer, and to like, oh. barely be killing these monsters is like, what's going on? And it's just so good. Yeah. Okay, so then... Um, so that's going to be my turn. Yes. So score one, more four. battle tactic. Battle tactic for, for four. four. So it's going to be. It was going to be eight, eight to six. Six, yeah. And oh, and then the the thing explodes. Yes. So I actually owe you a battle shock here because okay. I don't have any CP. So okay. I will roll it. I can fail on a six. So I'm going to roll a six. Here it comes. Nope. Nope. Five. That's nice. A five. What was the dread saurian's range on his minus one to his bravery? Oh, I don't know. It can't be more than six though. I you it used to be like eighteen. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but. Or maybe it was 12? I can't remember. Uh, no, it's three inches now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes more sense. Because you could couple him with uh, the Lord Celestine Prime coming right. down. And you could, like, and I think it was minus two from him. I can't remember, but yeah. Nice. It was yeah, like was a fun little good. bravery bomb you used to be able to do. Um, so then, so yeah, you scored another four, so that's, yeah, six to eight for, for the Slaves of Darkness. Yeah. And then uh, now it explodes. Yes. Should I roll it? Are you rolling? Uh, you roll. I can roll it, sure. Yeah. So let's roll it here. That's a five. five. So I don't have my book handy. Uh, five is sideways. So it's just straight up down the middle here? Yeah, to seven and a half, seven and a half in the center. Okay, and then uh, what else? And then we should roll for power. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Minor so these detail. will be like here. -ish. Why don't we roll in the in the tray so it's nice and easy to see? On, the, bl good. on the blue dice, three, five. Fiber. I mean, why? I, I take the turn, yeah, right? You yeah. Would yeah, like, why wouldn't you I take the turn? I 100 take the turn. Yeah. I'm not on objectives right now either, so yeah. I want to be on them. Cool. So, yeah, we'll remeasure those objectives and then we'll come back on Chaos Double Turn. Okay, so here we are on Slaves to Darkness turn. Uh, three. Three. I know. Wow, that's a madness. <laughs> uh, so we've gone through the battle tactics, and I don't really think there's one I can achieve. Yes. So we're going to pick one of the ones I'm never going to pull off, Out Muscle. Cool. Which I don't think I've ever seen anyone get, <laughs> ever. <laughs> um, so we'll pick Out Muscle and then just fail it. We got it a couple of times on the channel, but you need galley bait units, and people yeah, are and just people trying not them. to take them. Yeah. But, but yeah, we talked about it. If you, you can either get your battle tactic for two, 
or you can get the objective both objectives for two. for two, and then you continue to score them, and it looks yeah. like it's probably the end for the, the game for me, because I need to get you off of both of them, and that's just not going to happen. Yeah. Um, so, so we're just going to burn a battle tactic effectively, yeah. so we're going to pick whatever I said there, uh, yeah. out muscle, out muscle. Yeah. and then uh, we're going to try to rally those knights again, oh. so CP. Oh, you, you get a heroic action first. Oh, right. He'll right. cast on 3d6. Sure. And then, yeah, we'll try to rally these three knights that are dead on a five up. <laughs> Don't you dare. All three coming back. <laughs> oh, I only got one. I mean, what is average and yeah. perfectly uh, respectable? Okay. But a little bit closer to the objective. Hey, we're scoring the objective now without even moving. What? <laughs> Why you are. That's yeah. wild. So that's that. Then you we're might have been able to do desecrate actually. Some magic. How? This thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I can get six models there now, can't I? Yeah. Four, five, six. Yeah. Do you mind if I change it no, to that? Not at all. Is that okay? Well, no, you know, I, I won't because I wouldn't have known about the rally. That's based on a yeah, dice that's roll. Fair. So that's not really fair. That's fair. I forgot about that. I actually talked you out of it though, so. That's okay. I'm fine with you changing it. Like I'm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You li I literally talked you out of that's it. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that then. Cool. Okay. So we'll pick Desecrate. We'll pick that thing. Cool. The Realm Shaper. Also, I changed mine earlier because true. it was stupid. Like, and you actually <laughs> talked me out of it too. That's, that's true. right. I forgot you talked me out of it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so those knights are gone because they did not rally back. Uh, we're going to try to cast some magic here. So 3d6. We're just like trying to sabotage each other. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, we're going to try to Mystic Shield. Okay. That goes wow. off. Wow. Uh, oh, three. I get a heroic action, but yeah. I am going to. Do you have a hero? I do. I've got oh, the blue yeah. guy. Yeah. Um, oh man. Uh, yeah, I, I'll just still get this. Wait, is this the top? This is the top of the turn. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So I, the CP doesn't do me any good. No. So I'm going to go for a heroic unbind, if that's cool. Yeah. Heroic willpower or whatever. Yeah. I'm not going to do that because it's impossible. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, so that was Mystic Shield. We're gonna cool. put that on the Warriors. I already measured it before we pulled the camera on, so they're good. Then he'll cast, I don't know. Um, Arcane. Bolt. Arcane Bolt, probably. Because yeah. <laughs> 3d6 charge doesn't You might just me. zap him. Oh, we get oh, to Master of Magic. He'll do Demonic Power on these guys, so if you charge them, they oh. have plus one to hit and win. Perfect. Why not? Demonic Power, that's a 12. That's a 12, well, I can't beat it. Sweet. Awesome, burn oh, Wait, your... I can on boxcars. Uh, like plus one from the Sage's Staff, the Constellation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so right, yeah. on boxcars. I mean, I might as well. Yeah. Nope. Cool. <laughs> I said it before. Yeah, I was like, you were on. Uh, there's <laughs> one six of it? I'm like, There was ah. one six. <laughs> uh, okay, so they have plus one to hit and wound. That would have been amazing if I'd said, nope, and then I rolled double sixes. Totally. <laughs> Um, okay, and then we're just going to pay a command point to run them six, cool. and we'll be back after movement. Perfect. All right. So here we are after movement. Uh, I realized once I was doing some right. finagling here that there was Forgot no way cam. to get six guys on there and yeah. still hold the objective. It's we just too far just away. We were thinking you tag it. Yeah, if I had one more night, if I got one more night back on Rally, I could have made it happen. That, oh, wow. Yeah, that would have been But nice. I didn't. So instead, we decided to just block off the objective instead of trying to desecrate that. So we're going to fail our battle tactic. We paid to run these guys six to go nab that objective. Right. And we're just going to score one, two more. One, and that's going to be the end of Slave's turn three. Yeah. So that and puts you on 11 to my six. Yes. And, and then, then we're going on Seraph on turn three. Seraph on turn three. So I'm basically going to try and kill these guys. And if I can't, then I'm going to call it because I'll just be consistently scoring less points and I can't catch up. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll hope for a big turn. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. It is the Seraphon turn three. I'm going for desecrate their lands because like I really have to go all out here. Yep. So I'm gonna try and get in there with the Dread Saurian and kill all of these guys. And if I can't do that, then it's over. So um, I'm gonna go for a CP on my leftover guy. And I did get it because it's a two up. Okay. So he's got a CP, which he will immediately put on the Dread Saurian because I want him plus one. To, oh wait, you can't roar me. No. Okay, so then I'll just uh, I'll put it on the plus one to hit on that guy immediately. Okay. Um, and then uh, I th isn't that it? Um, um, I'm gonna need to do a heroic action. Cool. Um, or actually, he'll do a, like he'll do the um, the what's it called the uh, run and charge. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's on a three up. Or is it a four up? I think it's a four up. It doesn't matter. Okay. And then I will do, I'll do bless on the dread Saurian. Yep. For the six up. Nope. In <laughs> fact, you take a mortal wound. Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, and Alex I'm just going to try to get a command point on my uh, wizard there. Nice. He does not. Okay. But he does not zap himself, so that's good. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll be right back with the after the end of the movement phase. Okay. So we've got um, moved up here, and then you redeploy. Then I redeploy and I roll a six. <laughs> yeah, you roll a six. So now his three-inch charge is a nine-inch charge. It's a nine-inch. It's a mighty charge. I'm not um, sure that was the best move, but it was. I think it was an absolutely great move because if I can't kill these guys, you're just scoring three points every turn, and I'm I'm scoring. I'll score two points this turn, and then no more points. Yeah. So yeah, I think it was a really good move. Uh, we've got nine shots from the Bastilladon hitting yeah. on threes, and there we go wounding on threes. Uh, so that's four, rather okay. at minus one. Okay. So four on six. Uh, so I take three. Okay. They're they're well. They're two damage two, each. Two damage each. So yeah. Six damage. Cool. Okay. I was like, three is not possible. <laughs> I was trying but to think of all these three knights. Might not be able to oh, <laughs> cruel man. Yeah. Well, I am going to shoot again. Yeah. Yeah. Some more guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can still rally them, so that's kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> okay. What am I doing? Oh yeah. So hitting on threes. Um, okay. And then wounding on threes. Uh, that was a pretty good roll. Mm -hmm, pretty good. So we got six at minus one. Okay. Four up. Ooh, Whoa. Bad. So two times five is 10 damage. 10 damage. Three. Six. Nine. 10 damage. Whew. Okay, uh, the charge is now impossible. Yeah. So I'll get two points, taking me to eight, to yeah. your, what was it again? Uh, 10? I scored six and four. And four. And four. Oh, so, so 14. 14. Okay, so <laughs> I can't win. <laughs> uh, you could double turn me right now. Um, that's, but still, how do I make up eight points? Uh, hold one. <laughs> hold one. That's one point. Tactic. I, there's no tactics that well, I can, can kill do. the unit. I'm sure there's a way to kill the unit. And I think they have to be galley vets. Right. I have to control more, more, control objectives. more objectives. Yeah. Well, here. Let's see if we if I roll yeah, it. Uh, if I if I roll it like let's roll the double turn yeah. and then we'll we'll kind of see, yeah, see what happens. happens. I gotta you get the double turn. Okay. So maybe we'll talk this out and be right back. Cool. So we are at the top of turn three with Seraphon, top of, four. top of four, and I'm calling it because we've gone through this like every which way we can think of. It's there's no battle tactics I can get except for barge through enemy lines. But that's going to take you two turns to do. To so two turns. Turn, yeah. By turn five, you can score two points. Yeah. Total. Total. And you're down by three. I'm so that's down not by three. Help you. That's not going to help. Or me. you can take this objective. Yeah. And hold one. Yeah. For probably turn four and turn five. Yeah. So I'm not going to be able to get over there. So that's going to get you two points. Yes. But again, you're down by three. Again, I'm down by three. And I'm going to score at least one on each of my turns for holding that objective. Yes. So there's no way to catch up. There's no way to catch up. Because I'll be effectively up by five, and you can only score two. So yep. I'm going to win by three. Yep. So. No matter what. No matter what. And so even if the. Unless like a Bastilladon can kill 20 Chaos Warriors. It can't. We, we all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which, which is impossible. It's literally impossible. Um, I don't even think it's possible with Curse. Yeah. Uh, and even. I don't remember what we picked for our. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Grand Strategy. Grand Strategy. Um, but I, I'm down by three no matter what. Yeah. Do you want to roll your rally just for fun? Yeah, sure. Cool. Yeah. So let's roll my rally. I have eight knights dead. Jeez. <laughs> Seven, eight. All malign portents dice. Rally you made the right up. Thing. So we got one, three two, back. three back. Yeah. Like, so I'm not even guaranteed to kill them at that point. Yeah. 
So they go there, and now you need both monsters to get there to even take that point. To even take that point. Or you gotta kill Wussy. I gotta kill, yeah, I mean, I could probably shoot him, but it's still, at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah, that, gets, that, point, that literally gets me two points. points. You're still ahead by three. Yeah, so even if I do nothing, I'm ahead by one, but yeah. I'm gonna score those two just from standing there. Just from standing there, exactly. Yeah. So, and then you can also you can redeploy, yeah, <laughs> and move in. Like there's just so many ways yeah. in which you're winning this. But I had a blast playing against yeah, this new army. Game. I think it's a really cool new book. I think I just think it's almost perfectly designed. I really like it because the combat is yeah. really strong. Yeah. And the defense is really good. Yeah. But the power projection is pretty bad. It is. Like there's no shooting. There's no offensive magic. There there's is no teleporting. There's no flying. No. There's a little bit of flying, like a couple things. And fly. there's one thing teleport. But it's it's bad. It's only on each unit. It's blah blah blah. And, and then there there's it has a lot of customization, which is really yeah. cool. But the thing is, you can make your combat overwhelming. And I yes. think that's really cool. Yeah, um, agreed. Yeah. And the armor's really good, so you can play the elite army. I think the rally on a five up is the way to go. I really like ever chosen. So good. And you get the extra banner, and the banners are really fun, and they're all good. Like every one of the banners is worth taking. Yeah, exactly. And so, I mean, yeah, I had you down to two guys, and then you just brought three back, and it wasn't even like yeah. it's not like it was and a I crazy think I brought roll. Two back, and then one back on yeah. the turn. So yeah. that's like a whole free unit of knights. Like a whole unit of knights, and, and they're two hundred and thirty points, and they're hard to kill. Yeah. Yeah. So and I think there, I think the, I think Slaves is a solid army. I Archeon, think it's a uh, really cool army. And a great battle report, very volatile. Yeah, so. that was fun. Archeon versus the Dread Saurian. Yes. And they had an actual Titanic duel. I'm super happy because I got to kill something with the Dread Saurian, and that's all I ever really care about. Yeah, and Archeon got to kill one of those filthy frogs. So I was very excited <laughs> yeah. about that. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, you dragged him to hell. So. Yeah, true. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on, Eric. That was really fun. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, and thanks and to everyone for watching. Yeah, and smash the like button and subscribe and smash write a comment it. about how we forgot whatever rules we forgot. Yeah, and uh, which was considerable. Yeah, and even if we did, don't didn't forget them, just make some up. Make something up. Yeah, tell them we forgot to tie your shoelaces. Yeah, yeah.